At first glance, with the oversized illustrations and text, the bright colors and found objects suspended from the ceiling, it feels like stepping inside a children's book on a massive scale. Breaking the Binding is the first career retrospective exhibit for Celia Alvarez Munoz. The 86-year-old El Paso artist is noted for her public art, Did you see that? whimsical artist books, and her activism through art. After a long career, she is still driven to make art. Why do I keep going? Because it keeps me going. That's what propels you to wake up in the morning and have a mission. I think for me, it's more, it has been more of a vocation. Alvarez Munoz's work infuses humor and private narrative into broad themes, informed by her life along the U.S.-Mexico border, as well as her background working in advertising. She combines text and image in nearly every piece, playing with puns, mistranslations, and mispronunciations. Co-curator Isabel Caso said the exhibit has 35 artworks, seven being major installations. She's an unbelievably distinct visual and verbal storyteller. El Limite is the first work you see, with images of sardine can trains. Large printed text tells childhood stories about post-war immigration routes by train. The museum commissioned this piece from Alvarez Munoz in 1991. She draws on many things from her own personal history to collective histories, and I think that that's one of her greatest skills. It centers on an artifact she invented, made from a found gas mask and vivid feathers, set against a full, wall-sized mural with photos of Mexico City from old magazines. Set against bright fuchsia is text that's equal parts unsettling memory and absurd story. One of Alvarez Munoz's darker works is Fibra y Furia. Suspended from the ceiling are 20 massive bolts of fabric and several dress forms, embellished clothes and diapers made from lace. Was a um, rebuttal against the fashion industry for the sexualization of women, you know, from early age. The installation also touches on post-war women's labor issues. It evolved over time to address the artist's fury, or fuya, over the murders of young women workers linked to Juarez Maquiladoras in the advent of NAFTA. And then we have the bridal gown over here. And it's wicked, it's, it's a decay, it's a lot of decay. Downstairs is the first solo museum exhibition of artist Griselda Rosas, who lives and works in San Diego and Tijuana. Senior curator Jill Dossi helped with the exhibit. She is truly one of the most gifted and compelling artists of our region, just so um, authentically deft at working with materials. When her son was small, Rosas began borrowing characters from his drawings and adding embroidery with her sewing machine at the kitchen table. I mostly do my work at my kitchen table, so my kitchen table is always a mess. Rosa's embroidery works are like little sculptures, layering drawings, vivid splashes of watercolor, and bright thread. The embroidery fills in, borders, or embellishes the painting beneath it. In the images, she pairs the flat, dimensionless perspectives of a child's drawing with that of Mesoamerican styles. There's weaponry and war regalia on fantastical creatures, infused with Rosa's knowledge of pre- and post-colonial history. You have this layering of moments in time, and the work really comes to, I think, shed light on the entanglements of the past and the present. Rosas is also a sculptor. More than a dozen oversized slingshots are affixed to the walls. They're made from branches found on both sides of the border, and the elastic is stretched to the brink casting shadows like drawings of their own. These slingshots encapsulate Rosa's fascination with the tools and regalia of war and childhood. And I was thinking about tension and how do you get to the other side through a slingshot or war and all those things. Both exhibitions open at MCASD La Jolla during the free third Thursday event, which runs from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday. The work will be on view through August 13th. Julia Dixon-Evans, KPBS News.